Hey Cajon players, I hope you are doing well. Today I'm going to test and review a new Cajon model by Minor Percussion. The new model is called Minera Line from the Artisan series. This is probably one of my favorite series of Cajons, the Artisan Line. Completely handmade in Spain by the famous cajon maker Pepote by Pepote Percussion. So, without further ado, let's check now the specifications of the cajon. I have here with me two versions of the Minera line the brown eucalyptus and the limba. The body of this cajon is made of 7-ply, 9mm thick Baltic birch wood. It comes with two sets of three V-shaped strings. As a signature of all the artisan line, it comes with rounded corners and thumb notches for optimal playing comfort and sound. And the new feature that is the oval sound hole at the bottom in the back with the internal bass reflex system. The size of this cajon is approximately 48 cm by 28.5 by 30 cm. This cajon model costs around 269 euros in Europe and 299 dollars in the US. If after watching this video you want to buy, you are interested in buying one of these cajons, I have included all the links in the description below. So before buying it, let's see how it sounds. Now I'm going to show you the sound test of the two models, for you to hear the difference between the models and also the overall sound of the Minera line. The mics I'm using here for the test is the Shure SM57 in the front, Shure Beta 52 in the back hole, and a pair of Behringer C2 overheads. Now I'm going to improvise a bit for you to listen how it sounds.
To my ears, it has more bass, a more deep bass sound than other artisan cajons, like the Tango Line, for example. If you don't know the Tango model yet, just click above to watch my full review. Actually, this extra bass tone comes from the back hole in this oval shape, and also the position uh, of the hole that is in the bottom of the back plate. It produces a more deep bass sound. Now talking about the two versions, the Limba and the Eucalyptus. To me, they have a small difference in the bass sound. This happens because of the front plate. The one with Limba wood produces more bass than the one with Eucalyptus wood. In fact, the Artisan Mineira line for me is very similar to the Tango line, but with some differences. It has more bass because of the back hole the, the shape and the position of the, the back hole, and also I think that it's a little bit more sensitive than the tango line. I can feel that the ghost notes and finger rolls are louder than the tango, even if I play softer. Talking about the design, as all artisan cajons, they always look great with this natural color of eucalyptus and limba in this case. I, I really like it. Overall, I think it's a great first cajon. I will start using it more here on the channel, so stay tuned for the next lesson. If you are looking for a good entry-level flamenco cajon, this might be a good choice for you. Now I want to hear from you. Leave your comment below with your opinions about this cajon. This is very important for me to know. And if you are interested in purchasing this model, you can use the links I have included in the description below. If you like this video and you are interested in learning more about cajon, I would like to invite you to join my online cajon school at cajonmaster.com. There's a lot of new content, everything about cajon. So go there now and join for free. As always, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to receive notifications when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.